what's good ladies and gentlemen welcome back to some more world of tanks i'm starting to get a feeling that el haluf is actually my favorite map because we're gonna have a very good game once again on this map and i've got another video for you tomorrow featuring this map just in a different tank but right here right now we are playing the m51 super sherman the tier 8 french premium medium tank and one of the videos that i did a few months ago was saying that this is the best sherman tank in the game and i still hold that opinion and this game is going to show you why so again on a holuf pushing to the ruling area of the map and we spot a slayer on the way to this position took a very speculative shot at him there we could only see the top of his tank and this tank really requires time for you to aim for shots to land it really does if you don't aim trust me it's not gonna work sometimes you get lucky but yeah, you really need to aim your shots for this one to work. Now, we're pushing up to this position. And somebody that I know is right here in front of me. Jamus is in the FV4202P on the enemy team. One of my subscribers. One of my Discord members. And we're going to have to uh, try and take him out. Now, unfortunately, we get blocked by the Alpine Tiger right here. We could have a we could have had a really good shot on the side of that T28 prototype. Uh, but pushing up, we're going to try and hold this corner and get a shot on Jamus. But the T34 is cresting the ridge in front of us. So we're going to back up a little bit. But he gets absolutely one-bombed by our GW Tiger P. Which takes some pressure off, which is nice. Unfortunately, missing the T-44 right there as he advanced. But we're going to let him push over. He gets a shot into our friendly mercenary tank. Which I can't remember the name of. Why can't I remember the name of that thing? It's, it's been that long since I've played this game that I can't remember the name of the T-29 hybrid. So one of you guys are going to have to remind me in the comments section. But we get a nice shot into the side of the T-44 there while he is running away. There's a Centennial pushing up. And there is a Slayer on my left who we are going to get a shot at. And we are going to track him in position, which is great. As we do that, two of our friendly tanks take shots at that guy and finish him off. Now we have a Pershing below us. We're going to get a shot into him as well. Aiming for his tracks. We hit them, but unfortunately we don't track him in place to get some more assisted damage. And now we have an IS-3 on my right. So I'm going to crest this ridge. Let my gun depression get in place. And shove a shot straight through his upper glacis for 395. Now he's not focusing on me at this point. So I'm going to be able to get another shot here. And that one sets him on fire. Which he quickly puts out. Unfortunately, we didn't manage to burn him to death. The Centennial tried to get a shot at us. I assume this guy must have been reloading at the time. He's going to poke out again. So I'm holding this corner. Waiting for him to push out. I should have stayed there really. But I was wondering what the IS-3 on my right-hand side is going to be doing. And my friendly 110 gets taken out by the T-28 prototype. So we do get one shot through the Centennial. And I'm going to have to deal with this guy so that I can switch my attention to the guys on my right. I'm going to get another nice shot through his lower glacis. Keeping an eye on what the guys on our right are doing. Because the scores are level right now. And it's just me against this centennial and a t28 prototype so keeping my attention on the centennial i'm trying to put this guy in the way of the t28 which i managed to do successfully unfortunately that shot hits his turret ring and doesn't actually do anything and we're in a bit of a perilous position right now because he can outload me every single time the t28 hits me but we managed to get a shot into the centennial side and we finish him off. Now we're running away from the T28. Luckily, he gets sniped by our Borsig. And the pressure is taken off. So at this point, we're at 4,235 damage. And 1,500 assisted damage. Jamis is still very healthy though. But at this point in the game, it is 6 versus 3. 
The IS-3 is still alive on the enemy team. And realistically, I don't think I'm going to be able to catch Jamus in time to get a shot at him. He has three of our friendly tanks closing in and closing in on him. Closing in and guys, my English is great, by the way. Closing in on him at present. I'm just seeing if I can get a shot at him as I'm trying to push up the sill. Either him or the Hummel. Neither of which I am able to get a shot at. If Jamus just backed up a little bit at this point. Then we would have been able to take a shot at him. And funnily enough though, I think we actually established a truce. He didn't fire a shot at me, and I didn't fire a shot at him. I, just, I can't remember whether I was streaming this game or not. I don't think I was. But I'm sure we established a truce. Either way, the IS-3 is now the only tank on the enemy team to still be alive. And I'm going to push around the hill on my left. To see if we can get a shot into his rear armor assuming he is facing the other way so we push around the mountain knowing that he could be there looking our way and he could finish us off but we've got to do it anyway luckily he is facing the opposite way we take the time to aim a shot at his rear and naturally rng says no but then he gets smacked by the gw tiger and that is the end of the game Okay, so taking a look at the post-game stats, ladies and gentlemen, just a quick game for you guys to check out today. We managed to secure a high-caliber medal and an ace tanker medal as well, racking up 4,235 damage from 11 penetrations, one enemy tank destroyed, and 1,690 assisted damage that game. We didn't block any damage because the Super Sherman's armor is very very vulnerable for a tier 8 medium tank but we did pick up a whopping 341,351 silver now i believe part of that was because of a mission reward but even so that is a crazy amount to pick up in one game we also picked up 5744 experience now moving on to the team score we topped our team by about 2,000 damage. Uh, again, the closest person to us was a GW Tiger P. Picking up a base XP of 1,823. So again, if you're looking for what kind of base XP you need to achieve a mastery in the M51 Super Sherman, then look no further than this. Moving on into the statistics. You can see that we fired 15 shells that game, 13 of those shells hit the target, and of those 13, 11 penetrated. So, all in all, a very good game on El Haluf, which I seem to do really well on quite consistently, because you will see this map again tomorrow. But if you're sick of this map, then I don't apologize because there's still good games to show you. So guys, I hope you did enjoy this quick video for today. Until the next one, I will catch you then and have a great day.